Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I know the holidays can be super busy and also very overwhelming, but we all enjoy creating our own home decor and gift ideas. So today I have several ideas that I want to share with you that you can definitely squeeze into your busy holiday schedule that are also budget friendly. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first project. All right, so up first, we're going to make a really simple and quick door hanger using some pine cones, some ribbon, and some hot glue. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about these. These I'm super obsessed with. They are from Hobby Lobby in their stems and actually cut off the stems. So these were in like a bunch of three, I believe, like this. And yeah, I just cut them off so that they would be by themselves, but you can find pine cones at Dollar Tree, most craft stores, or even in your backyard. Just make sure to go through the process of baking your pine cones to get all of the bugs out of them before you actually use them for decor. Um, I'm sure you can find tutorials for those online, um, but all I'm gonna do is add some ribbon, hot glue it to the top of my pine cones, and I'll show you how I put this all together. door. For this project, we're going to make a faux birch candle. And not only is this really, really quick and easy, but it's also really inexpensive. And the reason being is because I'm using these jar candles from Dollar Tree. So they're pretty good size. They're pretty good weight too. And all we're going to do is cover them with some birch paper. You can find this at the craft store or you can just Google. I searched uh, birch background and found one that I liked, pulled it up in my Photoshop and printed out in black and white. And I'm going to cut it down to size using my paper trimmer and use my hot glue to attach it onto the jar candles. Now I'm actually needing you guys' help. I'm working on a pretty big project and I need to know what is your favorite Christmas movie? If you could leave those down in the comments below, that would be such a huge help. And I'll be sharing that project with you soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming Christmas cheer, holiday inspiration, and Christmas movie inspiration that's soon to come. Now this project is actually super quick, super duper easy. 
and you may even have all these supplies at home and if not you can get them really inexpensively too we're gonna make little scenes snowy scenes in some canisters so let me tell you what I have here but like I said go through your stash first before you start purchasing things because you'd be surprised what you might find that would be perfect inside these containers so first for our snow I have some Epsom salt which you can find at Dollar Tree if you don't have any on hand I actually always keep some in our bathroom and it's also good to have on hand for crafting too. So grab some from Dollar Tree. I have two containers. This one's from Walmart. I wanna say right around $10. This one's from Ikea, right around $5. You can kind of set these up and make different heights, different sizes, make a whole big scene with them or they're super cute alone all by themselves on a table like as a centerpiece or an entryway on a console table you can get really creative with them over here my little elements that i'm going to add inside of my jars this is a candle holder that was from the target dollar spot a couple years ago sometimes they come out with new ones though so keep your eye out in the target dollar spot for those this is a red truck from dollar tree and then these little trees are from Target. I want to say they were the Hearth and Hand brand a couple of years ago, but you can find bottle brush trees just about anywhere during the holidays. And then I also have some cute little wintertime figurines. These are from Dollar Tree too. I'm basically just going to add some of my Epsom salt into the bottom of my containers and make some cute little scenes with them. All right, and for this project, I brought back out my candy canes. If you missed one of my most recent tutorials, it was 10 easy candy cane craft ideas. So I did 10 super duper quick and easy projects using candy canes. I will put that up in the iCards and down in the description box. However, I had tons left over after that video, so I pulled them back out for this craft. So what I have here is just a regular aluminum can that I washed out. And I also have some carpet tape here. It's basically like a double-sided tape. And I'm gonna put that around my can and then put my candy canes around it. I pulled out my, my uh, hot glue just in case I need the extra security around the jar. Or I may even put some ribbon and tie a, a bow around it just so that I make sure my candy canes don't fall off. So let's go ahead and make this cute base idea. I would love for you to take a second and give this video a thumbs up. There is a button right underneath this video you can click. That helps out this channel so, so much and allows me to continue bringing you new holiday ideas every single week. And now we're gonna make a super duper quick and easy Christmas wood sign. Or actually, I'm gonna make two of them. And I liked this idea because these are two different sizes and it'll kind of give it a varying height look, which is what I love. So I have some scrap pieces of one buys. Literally, I don't even know what the size of these are. You just create whatever kind of scrap wood you have on hand or go to the hardware store. They will cut some really inexpensive 
One buys down to size for you. Just take some sandpaper, sand them down so they're nice and smooth. You don't want splinters. And then I'm gonna use some chalk paint to paint mine white. And then you can use stain if you want. And you can also use whatever kind of ribbon that you want or whatever ribbon matches your home's decor. So these top two are from Dollar Tree. So they have simple burlap ribbon or this really festive Christmas plaid ribbon. I love this. This is more of what's going to match my decor. It is like a tartan type plaid that is from Hobby Lobby. This is still really inexpensive. $3.99 for this roll and I got it for half off. So this roll was only $2. So basically I'm just going to make these into wood signs, but they're going to look like presents. Don't forget to comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is. I can't wait to read your responses. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe for holiday inspiration that I bring to you every single week. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.